Are you ready? Yep. How ready are you? What? How ready are you? Very ready. Welcome back to another episode of Register for Dinner. I'm your host, Sebastian Register, and today we got a special Argentinian staple sauce. It's chimichurri, so stay tuned. Chimichurri is like the ketchup to Argentinians. It's really the staple sauce. It's on every dinner table, um, anytime you go out to a restaurant in Argentina, and even at their family homes. It's very easy to make. It only requires a few ingredients, and it's so good. Honestly, you can put this on steak, chicken, uh, ribs, burgers, you name it, you can put it on here. It's fantastic. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I have two bunches of flat leaf Italian parsley, and we're gonna wanna take them off of the stalks. You don't need any of the stems. So discard those. And what you want to do now is you're going to want to mince these up. So I like to just roll them up as tight as I can and then just start slicing them. You really want to make sure that you get your parsley very nice and fine because you don't want big leaves every bite that you get. So this is going to take a little bit. All right, now that my parsley is all chopped, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over to a bowl. Next, what I'm gonna do is, I have a bowl here, and I'm gonna take a quarter of a cup of dried oregano, pour it into the bowl, and then I have some warm water that I'm gonna go ahead and pour into the oregano. What this is doing is, it is making the uh, oregano very fragrant, it is opening up all the spices, and it's gonna be making it amazingly aromatic. So, just put it in here, have it sit for about, you know, three to five minutes, and then go ahead and transfer it over to your uh, parsley. A few moments later. While my oregano is steeping, if you will, um, I'm gonna go ahead and mince up about three to four cloves of garlic. All right. That looks good. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this into our parsley. Next, what I'm gonna add is a completely optional ingredient. Um, this is crushed red chili flakes. Um, I like it a little bit spicy, but again, you don't have to put it in there. And I'm just gonna add it into the parsley. All right, and by now, my oregano has steeped for about three to five minutes, so it's ready to add into the parsley as well. And then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is add about a cup of um, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil is fine. And it's going to be equal parts olive oil and equal parts vinegar. Um, the vinegar that I'm using is apple cider vinegar. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar will do just fine as well. Probably should have got a better uh, container for the olive oil. Good day now. One eternity later. Right. If you have apple cider vinegar, give it a little bit of a shake. And again, like I said, a cup of apple cider vinegar as well. Season generously with a little bit of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. About 15 to 20 cranks if you have a pepper mill. Well, those of us that don't have a, a crank pepper mill. Yeah, well, then you can go buy some store bought black pepper. But the real G's have a pepper mill. Give this a good whisk. And there you have it. Freshly Argentinian style chimichurri sauce. Uh, you want to let this sit overnight um, so it really all the flavors marry together. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, my name is Sebastian Register, and this is Register for Dinner. If you enjoyed today's video and can't wait for us to cook something else up, make sure you smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe. But until next time, stay hungry, my friends.